In this topic trainee will learn about how to set up and configure FTP server on Windows Server 2012 or 2. FTP file transfer protocol is a very popular protocol that allows users to upload and download files easily. Windows Server 2012 is packed up with FTP features. You can configure FTP Server and Windows Server 2012 by installing FTP Server role. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step process of installing and configuring FTP Server role in Windows Server 2012 or 2. At first, install the FTP Server role in Server 2012. You can install FTP Server role under the IIS Server role. So let's get started. Open Server Manager. On the menu, click Manage and click Add Roles and Features. Click Next. Rule based or feature based installation. Click Next. Click Next. Expand the Web Server IIS role. Add features, next, next, next. Select the FTP server and click next. Click on install. Installation succeed on server. Click on close. After installing FTP server role, open the Internet Information Services IIS console. Right click on it and click on Internet Information Services IIS Manager. Right click the sites and click add FTP site. Type the name for the FTP site World of ITEC. Configure the folder where the files will be stored. Create some files in the folder for test purpose. See test. Physical path C test folder. These files will be accessed by FTP client by user. Click on next. Configure the IP address of this server. The IP address must match the address configured in the network adapter of this server. This IP address will be used by client to access the FTP server. 192.168 dot one dot one check the start ftp site automatically choose ssl and click on next choose basic for authentication basic authentication does not use encryption mechanism so username password is sent in clear text by default basic authentication meds username password from active directory database or you can create user accounts in iis you can create user in iis after installing management server under management tools which is in web server iis under authorization select all users to allow FTP access to all users of the domain. Check both read and write under permissions. Click on finish. Now browse FTP server from the client machine. Type the IP address on the browser as FTP 
192.168.1.1 it will show the following page now press alt key and your keyboard which will show the menu bar then click view and click open FTP site in file explorer now the FTP server will ask for username and password enter the username and password which was created in active directory users and computers then click log on here after clicking the log on button you can see the files in the ftp server you can see the file and folder in the ftp server you can also use ftp client like filezilla to access the ftp server from client machine so this is how you install and configure ftp server